which gives you some extra energy or <laughs> no, of course, uh, I was very excited uh, uh, to work with her. Say nice things. And uh, I, I think uh, everything becomes very easy when, when uh, two actors come as actors and, and, and uh, are focused on, on interpreting the lines and getting the best out of each uh, scene that's on paper. And uh, with Deepika, that became really, really easy. Uh, because she brings a lot of realism in her work. And uh, so I was constantly just bouncing off of that, you know. Uh, each line that she says, it is, it is uh, coming from a very, very deep, deep place. And uh, I could tell that this is real. And if I, if I uh, don't maintain that, you know, I might look like I'm overdoing things. So I, I had to make sure that, uh, that I, I'm at that frequency. Uh, and uh, thanks to her, I think all the scenes of Minnie and Patty look extremely vulnerable. They look extremely uh, endearing and very, very real. And uh, there's another little uh, thing that helped me a lot. This is when we were shooting for Sher Khul Gaye. And uh, I had obviously put in a lot of effort in you know, getting the steps right. You didn't. But when I, saw, <laughs> when I saw Deepika doing the same step, I was like, this is looking so effortless, man. Now he's embarrassing. And then I asked her, and you remember this. I remember this. I asked her, Deepika, can you just do your step for me, please? And we are on set, cameras ready. I'm like, no, I'm not doing this until I understand what's going wrong with my step. <laughs> so I asked her to do the step. I saw what she was doing, and then I copied what her style was. Sure. Basically, and I was doing it so badly. That we had no choice that he copies me. You can't say that because everyone has seen the song. Everyone has seen the song and you were there. You were there. Cool. I asked her to do the step then I... Because sometimes, uh, you know, you get very lost in the technicality of the step. And I was getting lost in the technicality of it. When I saw her, I said, this is looking effortless. I am going to now change the step a little bit and do it the way she does it. And that, uh, that made enhanced my dance as well. <laughs> so thank you for that again. <laughs> thank you. Very sweet. Thank you. You're, you're, uh, <laughs> yeah, Rithik was my student. I find it very hard to believe because I never trust anything he says. But having said that, no, he did mention to me, well, mention this to me when we were... Not once. I find it happened, <laughs> happened three times. It's very hard to believe because I think an actor and a dancer of his caliber to say that and the acting bit I'm hearing, I think, for the first time. No, I have you mentioned have this to you before. many, many yes. times. I just don't <laughs> take it seriously. Um, but yes, I think it's, of course, it's always special when you work with someone for the first time. It's also, there's a lot of discovering. You don't know. There's so much expectation. He's probably seen my work. I've seen his work. You always build this expectation in your head about a colleague and when you go on to set sometimes it's what you expect sometimes it's more than what you expect and sometimes it's just not what you expect um, and for me it's to some extent I'd heard about this phenomenon of Hrithik Roshan but I think I experienced it for the first time so everything that we've all heard about his craft and honesty and you know his process and all of that it is that and a lot more, and the lot, uh, the a lot more is what I've experienced after working with him. Um, I don't think I've come across any actor who is so like there's just it's it, he's just only thinking about this all the time, every line, every every movement, every and yet so effortless. Um, and yeah, I think, I think what we were both able to do is just be very honest with each other when the cameras were rolling. And I think mm. it is very, very special when you find an actor, or your, another actor in front of you who can do the same thing. Because otherwise, sometimes it's it's a little difficult. Uh, and then it makes it fun. It makes it challenging. Then when your director, when your director says you want to do one more take, you look forward to it because you never know mm. what is going to come out of it. It's not rehearsed. 
And that happens often. You work with people because they have a beat and you know exactly this is what, no matter how many times you do it, this is exactly what you're going to get. And then you have actors where you never know what to expect. So in fact, it's really nice to keep trying different things. And uh, most importantly, I feel like I've learned a lot from him. I don't think I've extracted his brain enough. I think there was an opportunity, because I'm very shy. Um, and so I feel like I'll impose if I ask too many questions. But I feel like what? I had that opportunity. Nonsense. And I didn't, <laughs> I didn't make the most of it. Mm. But here is a person I feel like you can just learn so much from him. And there are moments where I've asked him questions and learned and observed. And I've definitely taken a lot from this as an actor. So from there to being your co-star, something you can share or maybe Ritik. There's a lot that I can share. No, 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 please. <laughs> a lot that I can share. He's asked me the question. <laughs> 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 I want to go first. <laughs> well, I think, uh, I think Deepika is very right when she says that. That you want to go to Hrithik's mind. You know, that this is normal. How does this do so much work? This is for your character, for your character, for your film. Ke liye. Uh, you know, जितनी भी फिल्में की हैं, कौन एक and मैं इतना भी कह सकता हूँ कि I've been very fortunate that I've worked with the best in the world, you know. And for me to say that I would rate him uh, with all the you know phenomenal actors I've worked with and uh, sincere, honest, and uh, you know an actor to the core. Ritik kabhi keh raha tha ke, you know, I just love acting, I just love and I want to use my stardom, which Deepika also said very beautifully. Um, but longevity usi mein hai. Agar aap <coughs> sirf 10-12 saal kaam karna chate hain, to wo alag process hai. Agar aap 50 saal kaam karna chate hain, ya marte dam tak kaam karna chate hain, so, you have to do something wrong. Wow. So, you know, I think that, you know, I have worked with a lot of co-stars, but it was so generous, it was so giving, it was so honest in my career. Oh, wow. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's, 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 I'm saying it very honestly. And, uh, <clears throat> when you see the film also, you will see uh, I have seen the scenes the film until you have seen the film, I have not seen it yet. I have seen it in shooting and when I have seen it in ADR and dubbing. Uh, you will see, you know, it's a role, very difficult role, very tough role. And uh, he's done it very, very honestly. And um, I've got this opportunity to let me speak about Deepika also, if you don't mind. I love that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wasn't a part of the question. <laughs> no, but, you know, I, 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 you know, why some actors and actresses uh, resonate uh, from Kanyakumari to Kashmir and then somewhere you feel that they cross uh, their country and somewhere they resonate all over the world. Kuch to baat hoti hai. Aise hi nahi hota. You know. Ki kuch उनकी उनके डेडिकेशन में उनकी मेहनत उनका काम टू ऊपर वाले ने उन्हें खूबसूरती दी है चेहरा दिया है आवाज दी है आ, सब कुछ जो उन्होंने दिया है यू नो यूजिंग इट फुलेस्ट एंड एंड ऑलवेज ट्राइंग टू डू बेटर एंड रेजिंग द बार एंड ऋतिक ने बिल्कुल सही कहा कि जब उन्हें देखते हैं हम लोग शॉर्ट दे रहे डायलॉग मैं बोल रहा हूं मगर जब वो रिएक्शन जो मिल रहा है मिनिमल यू नो मिनिमल ज्यादा नहीं है और वो ज्यादा नहीं और वो करेक्ट बैलेंस से एंड देन स्टिल कन्वेइंग इट आई थिंक दैट्स व्हाट दीपिका इज एंड आई टू सिड यू नो एंड सो प्लेजर 
एंड आई यू नो जैसे आप पहली बार कर रहे हैं तो आप दोनों के साथ भी मैं पहली बार काम कर रहा हूँ सो आई वॉज ऑल्सो डिस्कवरिंग यू नो नॉट ओनली एज एक्टर्स बट एज एज पीपल एज एज को एक्टर्स एंड बिल्कुल सही कहा कि ज़्यादा वक्त नहीं मिला क्योंकि हम अपने काम में क्योंकि ये इतनी चैलेंजिंग फिल्म थी इतने चैलेंजिंग रोल्स थे और जैसे ही कहा कि एयरफोर्स के बारे में और यू नो आर्म फोर्सेस के बारे में नेशन के बारे में पेट्रोलिज्म के बारे में तो आपकी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी दस गुना ज़्यादा हो जाती है तो आपकी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इतनी होती है कि फिर ये सब वक्त नहीं मिलता है बात करने का बिकॉज आप चाहते हैं कि यार ये वक्त मिला तो लेट्स डू आर बेस्ट तो जितना वक्त था हम लोग यार वहाँ भी जब तेजपुर में तो यू you नो know, जितने भी ऑफिसर्स थे या प्रेप थे या फैमिली के साथ गुजार रहे थे तो ज़्यादा वक्त हमको मिला नहीं बात करने का तो पार्ट टू पार्ट टू ऊपर वाला चाय तो जरूर बिल्कुल जरूर होगा तो सिद्ध साहब का ये कहूँगा यू नो ही इज डेफिनेटली मेरा सवाल नहीं था सिद्धार्थ मैं मुझे मौका मिला मैं प्लीज नहीं सर वो मुझे फोन पर बोल देना नहीं नहीं मैं बोलना चाहूँगा कि ही इज यू नो इन अ ट्रू सेंस He he did the sweet spot yeah. of realism and commercialism, and I think this is definitely uh, going to be a film where I'm sure, you know, obviously it's so much, so much happens when a film releases. But mera, I'm dil se keh raha hu ki this will be a film where uh, when Sid looks back, yar, ye film mein, ye film ki thi maine. You know, I feel <laughs> this you. is something really special you've done, Thank Sid. You. I don't want. I want people to see the film. I want people to see our work, and the, the decide. So I don't want to just say too much about it. But I'm really proud, and I've really, really, sincerely uh, been one of my best journeys of my career. Wow! Thank you, sir. Uh, working wow, this film. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah. And that's your amazing. journey, sir. So yeah. it's spectacular. It's a big journey. ज़्यादा लंबा मत बोलना. अभी मैं आगे कुछ नहीं बोलूँगा. Next. <laughs> well, I know you've answered the question, but if I may. I, but the question is going to come to you. I, so there must be so many I, people. I, are, 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 I, are, I, think, I don't want to say this to them. I want to say this to you. Yeah, yeah. no, no. Yeah. So I have worked as an assistant while watching you uh, in many films, my dad's films, and uh, I modeled my process of how to get into the film as as an actor by seeing you. Wow. <laughs> um, and I spent what three, four years doing that. uh and i was a very good assistant in fact even now i i love shifting between being i uh, sid's uh, actor and sid's assistant he's the best assistant i've had <laughs> <laughs> i love doing that but as an assistant mai aapko dekhta tha i used to learn and then of course whatever happened in the journey ab fighter ke set pe hum log scene kar rahe the in the corridor mm and i had just seen a few scenes of the film and i was uh, on set with you and uh, you know when you tell somebody when you compliment somebody about how well they've done in a scene the the common reaction is oh thank you so much you know that's 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 great i'm so happy thank you but when you win a gold medal at uh, the olympics or when you win the wimbledon something that you have put your entire life and soul and every cell of yourself has gone into us uh, into something and then when you get a compliment no there you feel overwhelmed and you have tears in your eyes so back to the corridor i had just seen a few scenes and i came to you and i told you that ek scene hai film mein which was written on paper as a very aggressive scene it was full of aggression and anger and then i saw what you did and i told you you have interpreted this scene in a entirely different emotional way and what you have done is absolutely taken the film from there to there in that one scene aur jab maine ye baat unse kahi your eyes welled up you had tears in your eyes and i was just watching you aghast like my god this man must have put so much of himself into that one scene that when he is getting to hear that he did well he had tears in his eyes this is after four decades of of doing what he does still to have the power to give that much into a scene 
that day i again turned into an assistant and i just watched him <laughs> and i said he has tears in his eyes because he did one chota sa scene tha ek and for that he had put in so much that he was he had tears in his eyes and i went to sid and i said this he has sid he still got tears <laughs> to have that kind of i hope to god that i can maintain that kind of power in me to be able to give that much of me like you have amazing <laughs> he still has tears in his eyes <laughs> I think every actor of our generation aspires to be you in the way that you just really your yeah. commitment and just the way you you are every single day everyone sees it and everyone aspires to be like that acting schools should have a symbol of you you should make a symbol <laughs> <laughs> but that is true really laga dena chahiye sa banner <laughs> symbolic <laughs> from Mashable India congratulations i think i speak on everyone's behalf that's hell of a trailer um thank so you uh, my question is to you and mukunda um you know pathan um it actually set the tone for the entire year 2023 uh, with you know obviously the many thousand like the thousand crores and uh, it it really set the ball rolling what are your expectations you know with this aerial extravaganza really so May I start? Yes, yeah. please. This is your question. <laughs> so honestly, um, like I said, the kind of timing that we had in Pathan, we were coming out. Even if it wasn't that timing, there is nobody. I think I can speak for all filmmakers in this country. Nobody, when he's making the film, obviously expects it or uh, wants it. But कभी कोई सोच नहीं सकता कि हम वो success attain करेंगे या वो figures attain करेंगे. Uh, nobody can plan for it. Uh, you can dream. but there's no planning that can go into it and you can achieve it so it's a uh, it's a lot of luck it's a lot of love a lot of effort obviously um we were all taken by surprise everyone i don't think there's anybody in that team of pathan uh, that expected that and um, we all hope ki thoda pyar mile hame aur hum ek soft entry wapas hindi filmon ki la sake into the hearts of the audience ek soft entry एंड उन्होंने तो दिल ही खोल दिया अपना पूरा हमारे लिए एंड दैट इज जस्ट द लव ऑफ द ऑडियंस एंड वी डेंट एक्सपेक्टेड एंड आई आई थिंक वी टेक द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू थैंक द ऑडियंस फॉर दैट एंड नाउ वी हैव द कस्प ऑफ समथिंग वेरी वेरी स्पेशल अगेन एंड वी जस्ट होपिंग नॉट फॉर द नंबर्स वी जस्ट होपिंग प्यार मिले रिकग्निशन मिले हमने देश की पिक्चर बनाई है देसी पिक्चर बनाई है एक बहुत रूटेड पिक्चर है ये येस बहुत स्टाइलाइज है बट एक्चुअली बहुत देसी पिक्चर है ये हिंदी पिक्चर है ये एंड इट स्पीक्स टू द लोएस्ट कॉमन डिनोमिनेटर एंड एवरीबडी फ्रॉम यू नो फैमिलीज टू द यूथ टू द मासज टू द एलिटिस्ट देर बी समथिंग फॉर एवरीबडी इन दिस फिल्म एंड वी जस्ट होपिंग फॉर लव नंबर विल फॉलो मेक्स I don't know. I just feel like I know people do, but when you make movies for the box office and when you work in reverse, you're just not being true to the process. And I think that always shows eventually. And in the work that we've done before, I know that that has never been the intention. The intention is to tell a beautiful story that the audience is going to connect with, that's going to have a positive impact. Um, and you're going to have a great time while making the movie because the process is as important as as exactly. the, the result in itself and i think what makes fighter even more special is this is our tribute and our thank you to every single fighter out there who puts their life at risk every single day so that we are safe Absolutely. and True. so this is our thank you to them Shakti Shetty coming <laughs> for White Lotus three apparently. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, but I don't know White Lotus. You don't know the show White Lotus. <laughs> <laughs> He's been very busy. <laughs> I live uh, under a rock. <laughs> apparently. Yeah. It's a great show. You must catch. Thanks for exposing uh, me. <laughs> yes, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. White Lotus three. You know, but I never go. 
Uh, my question, my student text, and uh, Siddharth. Uh, when I saw the trailer, the first film that uh, popped up in my head was uh, Toggler. Uh, I wanted to know because there are a lot of similarities as per the trailer in the film, also in Toggler, is that Shankar Padana is a rebel. Uh, Pete Mitchell was also a rebellious character in Toggler. And also, there's an elite unit of aircraft, uh, Air Force uh, fighters. Was that a film? A bit of an influence on the making of fighter or maybe the ideation of it. You want to go? Yeah. I think uh, <clears throat> I would say thank you for the comparison, <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, I take it as a compliment when uh, a film uh, that we make here in our country, which is made on a fraction of a budget that they can, primarily because obviously uh, we make it in one language, which is just relegated to one country. They make. In English, which you can be exploited worldwide, so they have obviously access to great budgets. We make it really at a at a fraction of a budget, and yet, if you're saying we're comparing it to that in terms of its look, I'm very happy. Secondly, when you say trailer, देख के आपको लगा, I don't think वो right analogy है क्योंकि trailer देख के आपको पता चल गया होगा, it has nothing to do with Top Gun except for the fact कि उसमें भी aircrafts हैं, यहाँ पे भी aircrafts हैं. वैसे तो वॉर एंड पठान भी सेम है उसमें भी कार चेज बाइक चेज सब सेम था वो स्पाय था स्पाय था वो सेम लगेगा आपको बट दिमिलैरिटी एंड्स एट दोज प्लेन लाइक आई सेड ये एक हिंदी पिक्चर है और एज वी ऑल नो नाउ बाय द ट्रेलर इट इज इंस्पायर्ड बाय अ ट्रू इंसिडेंट दैट हैपेंड इन ट्वेंटी विद आर्म्ड फोर्सेज एंड दैट इज एन इंसिडेंट दैट ऑब्वियसली I'm sure has angered all of y'all as much as it did to us, and it was a trigger for us to uh, make a film and talk about uh, the might uh, and the stand that our country took, and the might of the forces and what they did and retaliated with. It's somewhere loosely based on that, obviously, and uh, I think if anyone has seen Top Gun knows that that was nothing to do with Top Gun. So uh, the similarity ends there, and as far as the character goes of being a rebel or um, uh shamshir pathania being that um shamshir pathania is a character that i think um is a very brave decision by rithik to do because it is something unlike he's ever done ever done um he is uh, never played a character like that who is so real uh the cockiness is very real it's not larger than life uh kabir uh, or matter of fact uh, rajveer from bang bang are so different are so cinematically larger than life patty is someone who could be sitting amongst us and i'm sure there are a lot of cocky people with how they are uh, <laughs> not with us but i'm sure with their friends they are <laughs> so yeah so he's like one of you guys he's uh, he's a common man but yet obviously what he does is so larger than life he sits in a machine that's That's worth eight uh, thousand crores, and and that can fly at uh, that speed and risk his life every time he sits in that cockpit. Um, that arrogance you will have if you did that, and that is what Patty has, and that that is what um, I think any character, whether you are uh, in an English film or in a Chinese film, you will have that cockiness or the arrogance because of the things that you ride on every day. You risk your life every day when you take off. You don't know if you land. The mantra is within the forces when you went there. is that the ceo that is played by uh, anil sir uh, he's a commanding officer tells his boys take off is an option landing is mandatory you have to land back come back alive so imagine what lives they live here how can patty not have that chip on his shoulder and that is something that is similar with any pilot worldwide so that's the only common link i would say also in my view uh, they are not the same at all <laughs> because uh, in top gun he is a rebel without a cause that's just his character uh patty his arrogance is a force field he doesn't allow people in because he's going through something there is a back story which you discover in the film so actually he is not arrogant he is not a rebel he is protecting his inner feelings that he doesn't want to expose to people and that is uh what ignites the scenes between mini patty i am not saying uh, that for friends. a reason that we want you to discover it yeah but you've given a glimpse of it okay uh. yeah <laughs> that ends there <laughs> discover the film man do din mein aa rahi hai hi hi i'm great seeing you after long time i can safely say that this 
this is uh, kind of film. Everybody loves watching heroes like Rithik Roshan in Larger Than Life. Well, I'd like you. Uh, I'd, I'd like to just correct that. In this film, which is what uh, Sid was saying, it took time for me to be convinced about Patty, because Patty is not larger than life. The Please. film is larger than life. I, up until then, was doing these uh, characters which had this emotional arc, which was larger than life. But I understood that what Sid is trying to achieve. He's breaking his own mold and uh, constructing a hero, uh, taking aspects of, of me as a person, finding them and putting them together and saying, hey, this is what I want from you as a human, from that human. I've extracted these bits and this is my character. He's not larger than life. He's not Kabir. He's not Pathan. He is just a guy. Um, yeah, so you were saying? And that being said, uh, what I would like to know is that post lockdown, the big heroes, be it you, be it Shah Rukh Sir, Salman, Ajay, even Sirhanvi Kapoor now, is it possible that we ever see a post lockdown doing a film that is much smaller in scale? Like say your poster, Anil Sir used to do Osa, uh, Osa, or like you had done Kabul and Guzarish. Are there takers for it, for these big heroes to do these films? Are, do you see the audience coming for it? Is it possible to do Of course. Of course, why would I? Why would anyone uh, uh, not uh, hope and dream of uh, uh, you know the scope of our films being as wide as possible? You know, story. Uh, to to say good stories. I have done many such uh, films that where uh, box office was 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 uh, not in the calculation at all. It was just something that hits your heart. And if I find a script that hits my heart, uh, like a Super Thirty, uh, Kabul. Guzarish, if something hits me, there is because no, I'm a slave to my instinct. As actors, we need to be slaves to our instinct. There's no mathematics in that. I think he's been a, such a brave actor. I would, I would interject there. Sorry. I mean, someone like him doing. I don't know if I've told you like a film like Zindagi na Meli ki Dobara. I think to do a three hero film and a film that um, on paper would it's such a slice of life film. So he's never chased box office. So I think. Uh, so I'm, I'm coming to that. So I do, I do. I think he's very instinctive that way. I think a, a good story, if it comes his way and it touches him, if, he if doesn't it, think of box office. If it doesn't happen, it'll be sad. Because <laughs> that means we are only sitting as, as uh, not as artists, but as uh, mm -hmm. mathematicians and calculating. Let's do this. Artists can't do that. Artists abhi, have to follow the heart. Abhi hum <laughs> Hi. Um, who's, so who's dancing for us after this press conference? Oh, really? You're putting up a show? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but you know, uh, the idea of fighter is different for different people. Like uh, the whole um, the perception about the fighting spirit that you are raising a testament to is what I'm going to ask you about. I think we are all fighting uh, daily battles in our own lives. Uh, some. Um, emotional lows, some personal, professional, psychological, physiological lows. I want to ask you that, what is that um, moment where you felt your lowest and what kept you going uh, to this fight against fight? We answered this in the previous session. Yeah, we did, but they are. Uh, this is a but uh, separate one. Fresh question you can ask. He was lurking in the back. Yeah, yeah, we've answered it. Thought it was a great question and yeah. didn't ask it again. No, but I asked it. Asked it. Asked it. Asked it. वो गूगल कर लो। चल एक और वन मोड रीटेक रीटेक। टेक फाइव मिनट्स ऑफ हिंदी। या या। So obviously, as you know, that this film is an alliance with the Indian Air Force, um, and there are a lot of stunts the chopper has done, and bits of it. I think if you see the trailer again, you'll see some stunts of it, and uh, we can't really disclose much about about uh, the maneuvers and stuff. So if this was Pathan or War, I think we would have spoken tons about it. But this is uh, we'll allow you also one more question in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll think and then ask. Done. Yeah. yeah sure. <laughs> 
But it's actually interesting. I think the response is interesting because usually you'd have an actor say or a director say this sequence, this. But the fact that we're actually bound by confidentiality in a way because it is so close to reality yeah. is, I think, what makes it really exciting. Yep. Uh, hi, everyone. This is Sheetal from Pink Villa. Absolutely hi. love the trailer and I can't wait to watch it in the theater in theory, as you mentioned earlier. Wow. You were there? Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Uh, so that's what I'm seeing. They were knocking. Yeah. <laughs> so I think my question is for you. Uh, in yeah. the movie Lakshmi, you played the role of an army officer, and here in Fighter, you are playing the role of an IAF officer, right? So, as an actor, how different was your approach to both of these characters, and uh, which one did you enjoy playing? Me? Well, um, you know, thankfully, the uniform no, has some magic here. Yeah. Mm. Every time it reminded me, you know, uh, there are three uniforms I've worn, not uniforms, all of them, but like um, Krish had a, had a cape, a costume. When I wore that, I felt strong. In Laksh, when I used to wear the uniform, it gave me strength. And in Fighter, when I wore the uniform, you, in a second, you feel the responsibility, you feel the weight, you feel the strength. So, uniform se jo taakat jo milti hai na, that is uh, very difficult to, to replicate. It just, it is something that is surreal. It, it just, it works. But it's, but it's true. You actually feel the power when you uh, wear that uniform. The specific moment is actually when you zip it up. Yeah. Zak. Oh. Wear hey. it and when you zip it up, yeah. that feeling is... And when I saw the first time, I told the suit, are you sure you want to take me? <laughs> वो भी एक कहानी है वो भी एक क्या होता है ना ये यूनिफॉर्म इज सच इट्स एन ओवरऑल एंड एनी इट्स अ वन पीस आई हैव टू से इट आई हैव टू से इट कि एक ये जो ओवरऑल जो है इतना फिटेड है कि इफ यू नो हैव वन आउंस ऑफ अ कर्व कहीं पर वो हाईलाइट हो जाता है मैन सो यू हैव टू फिट इनटू इट सीमलेसली एंड लुक लाइक दैट एंड अनिल सर सॉ इट एंड गॉट अ लिटिल Overwhelmed seeing it. मैंने बोला अभी घर का खाना खाना बंद करो। ये जो खाते हैं हम। And he said मुझे दो हफ्ते दे before I do the costume trial and when he came two weeks later। मैंने तीन इसके तीन costume trial किए हैं फिर भी मैंने first then I kept on and I looked I think perfectly for the for the uniform I think towards the last year. And it's a strange, strange That's feeling, man. But it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a one piece. So you put your hands up. The waist comes here. Your cross comes here. It's like how do, what, how do I get the perfect fit? <laughs> but still, you Good. feel extreme. Yeah, it's that, amazing. That feeling of pride. No, but you have to be really fit for it. Yeah, you have to be really fit. I mean, hats off to to all the warriors, air yeah, warriors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You. you tell me. <laughs> an air warrior, now, bro. <laughs> At home. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, you know, it depends on every. Uh, you know, here it was first the physicality, and then I internalized it. There are certain roles which you first internalize, and then go to the, and then you externalize. So it depends. For uh, <clears throat> animal, it was more internal than the external part of it because I was playing my age. Uh, and uh, and uh, you know there are like I was just so for this it was first the the how do I look the part you know the the walk the way I speak the and then I did all the research I could do for the character and uh, speaking to the officers uh, watching uh, I think every video or every piece of information I could have of all the uh, officers and generals from all over the world and uh, you know watching them the way they speak and of course I always uh, there's a history because I have also done an army officer uh, in Pokar uh, which was a, a very exciting uh, journey but uh, there was one film which I always uh, I kept on watching and I keep on watching since last almost over 50 years and uh, if you all get a chance you must go on YouTube and just watch uh, the film and the actor in it, it was George C. Scott 
who did Patton. And the film's name was Patton. And that film has always been my inspiration. Uh, I just loved the film. I just, it was the first film which Francis Ford Coppola uh, <coughs> wrote the screenplay and he won the Oscar for that. And uh, that was the turning point of his uh, career in a way. And, uh, and uh, when I was doing my acting course, uh, the first character improvisation I did was also based on Patton. Uh, and uh, this, because there's a book also, so I read the book and I kept on seeing the film. And again, I revisited uh, Patton again. And uh, because you see, uh, it's, it's, it, this role is, you have to get first the, the physicality, the external things, and then go deep into it. Uh, so that's, so every film, every character has different process. For a night manager, obviously, I'm playing the worst man in the world. Um, I've never met a worst man in the world. So how do I do it? What do I do? I can't observe anybody. Because everybody, there's nobody the worst man in the world. So you then, um, to a certain extent, of course, there was a, I would have to be honest, the, f the original itself was brilliant. Um, um, you already did the role, he was brilliant in it, absolutely fantastic in it. I obviously, I read all his interviews and, and saw a lot of interviews and so obviously there was a reference to, the, to my work also. But then I read the book and uh, he was an arms dealer, so in India you can't, you can't say yeah, he was an arms dealer, so you go and watch his, <laughs> you know, like mafia becomes easier, mm. you know. But, so that was a tricky part. So then you use your imagination also. And you, in a way, fictionalize and see, and, you, and then of course you rehearse and you rehearse and you rehearse and you rehearse and you rehearse <laughs> and you rehearse <laughs> and then you write down and then you find a pitch. And then you have the pitch, and then you say, is it the right pitch? Then you go on the set, and you start speaking the way you rehearsed, and you sound very foolish. And then on the set, again, you do various takes, and then slowly, steadily, you find the correct sur. So that was a different journey. Uh, Balbir Singh was a different journey, and this is a completely different journey. So all three have been very different, so it's been very exciting as uh, Rithik was saying that for us it's, you know, it's it just, for me it's de-stress. I said, when I'm stressed, I said, what do I do? I said, I'm going to act, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to rehearse, yeah. <laughs> I must watch, you know, all the interviews and people, so that de-stresses me. Nice. So for me, you know, I, I'll never be stressed. I'll stress or I'll do acting. Calm down. Research. Research. Calm down. Your first character improvisation was that. Pattern, yeah. Pattern, yeah. My first character. Right? My first character improvisation in my acting class was Ish Shahir Ke Zaddar Logo. Oh, very young. Kaun kehta ki Thakral sahab ne sirf 75 logon ki hatya ki hai. Inki ginti to 75 se baad jara hai. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I kya bolo ke... It was yours. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, that is the reason. Aap Top Gun ki baad rahe, isse Thakral. Isse desi film nahi ho sakti. Isme Rithik Roshan hai. <laughs> Isme Deepika Padukone, Isme Anil Kapure, Usme Thaiga. You original. Correct. You said Desi film. You said Desi film. You said Desi film. Desi, but classy. That is. The missionary. Fighter. Absolutely. Oh, you have another question. Hold dialogue. Hold it, hi. Is Shahar. No, no, you're talking about the truth. No, no, you're talking about the truth. So basically, I'll tell you, obviously, I've read that. And I think my two bits in that is that, A, like I said, it's based on a true incident. And we've also depicted what actually happened in the incident. So it's out there, you know, in public domain. So there's nothing new we've done. And some things that you're talking about that may have offended them, I would just want them, forget anybody else, I would them want, want them to see the film and see the context in which what has happened and what has been said and uh, then react. This is out of context in the trailer, you put lines, if I, if, I, if I play out the whole film like a story to you, then why will you come to the theatre? 
So I will raise some questions and sparks so that to answer that you will come into the theatre. That's what this has done. It has serviced exactly that motive. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually in a way happy it's done that. And uh, uh, it's made them on people inquisitive. Uh, so come to the theatre. It will answer all your questions. You will understand the context of it and the emotion behind it. And you will be satisfied. Everyone will understand what we are saying. The primary thing I want to reiterate is that and what has been said in the film is that our war is not against a country. It's against terrorism. And that is what fighter stands for. It's a fight against terrorism, not against a particular country. And that is emphasized throughout the film. So come and see it and you'll get it. Lotus uh, 3. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that too. And, and uh, you know, uh, uh, sing them again. Uh, where does this sort of leave you uh, with space for movies like a Kiku or a Really? Uh, yeah. I agree with you. Point in your career, is there, is there space for that kind of Where now space? Lotus 3 is coming next. Siddharth Anand decides to do Fighter 2 and Fighter 3. What will happen? How will you do it? Fighter 2 has been closed. You have Lotus 3. Kar rahi hai. White Lotus 3. What time will you get, Deepu? Sorry, so your question is... The question is, are you doing Fighter 2 or no? When are you going to the next Piku, they are asking you. So basically, at this point in your career, do you think there's space for movies like a Piku or a Kirai? The space is there, the writers have to write. You know, and I think that... Uh, I think it will happen. I just think it's a matter of time. I think what happened is post-COVID, I think everyone uh, felt a bit rattled, right? Because it was a new experience that everyone was coming out of. We've never experienced a pandemic. And I feel like pre-pandemic and post-pandemic, so once you come out of a pandemic, I think we made a lot of assumptions about where we're headed. Have things evolved? Yes, they have evolved. but. I think we're I think we're jumping to conclusions very soon about too soon in this journey mm -hmm. about what's working, what's not working, uh, you know, only big budget films. I feel like there's at the end of the day, actors service a script, service a director, and like I always say, I think you need to be true to the process. I'm not doing fighter because because it's a what is the budget of the movie? Uh, because it is directed by me. Yeah. <laughs> I think you invest in stories, you invest in characters, you invest in people, you invest in the journey. Now, if that happens to be a, a 50 crore budget movie or a 25 crore, I'm more than happy to do that. And I've demonstrated by doing that pre-pandemic. Uh, in fact, even post-pandemic, Geraya was one of them. So uh, I'm always open. I've always been that actor. In fact, way, way before, you know, I've done films like they didn't do well, and so we don't remember them. Finding but Fanny also, no? I've done Fa Finding Fanny. I've done uh, Chapak. I've done. I've done Khele Ham Ji Jaan Se. So there are a lot of these movies that you know I've always La been. Uh, La Fang, lots of these movies. Uh, so as an actor, for me personally, I've, I'm, I'm most excited about telling stories, uh, investing in characters. Now, whether that happens to be a <coughs> 500 crore budget film or a 50 crore, I've never looked at that. Um, I'm interested in telling a story. Hi, I'll just start off with the phone. Hi. You spoke to them without letting Sorry? us know. Uh, the look and talk is a team watch that has seen on and the in talk is a team fan fan and all, but also yeah. back then it's also been most of those people who gave it. It was like, <coughs> yeah. So you have wonderful things to say about the both of you. Uh, what is the kind of progress that you guys have seen in Sita as a director? Like, in your history, assistant director, the director, the director, and now? Mm. I didn't know he was that intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> In Basra, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's talented, intelligent. Yeah. 
Uh, <clears throat> so I've seen Sid. I've seen Sid as an assistant. Yeah, I remember. I remember him being. He's actually a rebel. <laughs> as as an assistant, he was. Uh, That's so true. <clears throat> yeah. Say nice things. He's a rebel. Say nice things. Rebel. I said nice things about you all. <laughs> That's what I saw in him as an assistant. And I really didn't think much of him, to be honest, on the set. He used to, we used to be uh, working and he used to be playing the piano. Uh, we were shooting in a church. So he's playing the piano. Now I know, since then, he's been finding his tunes for his <laughs> film. He used to be stuck on the piano. Dun, da, da, dun. Uh, <laughs> uh, then I saw him give a speech. Uh, at, I can't remember where Ficky. it was. Huh? Ficky. Ficky. So I gave a speech and I said, eh? Because <laughs> he gave a damn good speech. I said, hey, that's interesting. Then I, uh, of course, he came with Bang Bang. And, uh, well, that's history. But <laughs> what I see in Sid is, is an incredible, what shall I say? Um, he is he's definitely a fighter. Um, he has done so much. Uh, his preparedness about Hindi cinema and cinema over the globe. His information, his knowledge, mm. his, his ammunition is so good. Because knowledge is your ammunition, information. Uh, he's so clued in with our uh, spectrum, our journey, our history of Indian cinema. He knows that so well. Every song, every movie, he's watched everything. So that is his, his, uh, his tank. He's got all the information. So for reference points, he can go to so many places. So that is one. The other is that he is, he is stubborn. Like I think we all are. Mm -hmm. When he wants something, I can't tell you, he, I mean, it's almost uh, borderline funny <laughs> because he's so angry, but he's looking so cute. <laughs> so he's like a mixed breed. You know, he's a mixed breed between like a, an Alsatian and a Pomeranian. <laughs> oh, this will travel. So he's got aggression because he wants it to go right. And on set, that's why I always say he needs a, a non-reflective human being. <laughs> to, to, and which he has on each set. He has some non-reflective <laughs> human beings, assistants, who just let his aggression just pass. Because <laughs> what they are seeing is a cute Pomeranian <laughs> being angry. <laughs> What I'm trying to say is that he is stubborn. He will not stop till the last moment to fix, to get things right, to be perfect. You think I'm a perfectionist? <laughs> Meet Siddhanand. <laughs> he will not stop and that, I think, is where I completely align with him. Because I know that, that he will not give up. You know, if I have something that I think we need to uh, discuss or fix and there's no time. I know he'll be standing beside me and I will be standing beside him. So that partnership has, has been extremely fruitful and I have seen him grow through those films where I have noticed, uh, I have noticed growth of course. You know, I've, I've uh, seen his confidence grow as well, which is very important. But I've not seen the humility disappear. <laughs> You know, he's just as humble, he's just as self-aware and he's just as eager to, to find out about himself. Hey, am I right? A am I wrong? There is, there is no ego there. And that just is for me, is just the, it's heaven for me. When I'm on set with a director who I can communicate with without any fear, I know he'll be a soldier right till the end. What else do you have to fear as an actor? You can give yourself, you know, you, you can just say, hey, I'm here, man. Uh, guide, lead, I'll follow. And that's, I think, what uh, the best parts of our partnership has been. Thank you, man. I can't say it better than him, but I think if I were to add just one thing to that, I think it's how he does all of it with so much ease. The humility is one aspect, but also when you watch these, when you watch him on set, 
you'll never imagine that this is the same director who who's made movies like war and bang bang and pathan and fighter because there is an inherent ease in the way you feel like he's making a rom com like he's just he's in restlessness <laughs> he's just he's like this he's His singing his tongue is almost hanging out he's talking about no, something else no i forget this like really i'm an action film director yaar yeah. <laughs> mere image <laughs> and food if you ever spend any time with him you'll wonder how he makes movies because he's only either talking about food <laughs> or eating <laughs> these are the only two things he's doing but i think just the the ease with which he does what he does is something that i've discovered in this journey and at that time he was the only one who was thinking that big yeah i don't think uh, that should be ignored True. When when we started, he was the only mind that was thinking beyond. Yeah. You know, he's he's not okay with uh, giving the audience something that uh, he already knows that they will like. He wants to give them something that will not just be liked but be surprised by. Which is why he's just pushing the boundaries all all the time. And what better human to partner with him? Thank you, man. Stuff like that. So, thank you for asking this question. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. It's not easy, first of all, to convince them because um, it it also honestly it stems from confidence um, that they have. Um, they are confident of themselves. They are confident of their of their uh, appearance. Yeah. About how good looking they are. The most. The most. Look at them. The most underconfident. <laughs> just look at them. Are being labelled confident. I mean, inko kuch bolne ki zarurat nahi padti mere ko. I think, um, like I've said in my in other interviews, that you just look at these cameras now. Just see how gorgeous they are looking. Yeah. Honestly, I don't need to do anything. I mean, just roll it at 48 frames uh -huh. and make them walk and see how. I just put great music. No, but the truth is that I think we both, if I can speak for both of us, I think we can. You can trust Sid yeah. with stuff like that. You can trust him. No, but also, also they work very hard. Honestly, I mean, jokes apart, uh, it's not easy <laughs> to look like this. I think they put in a lot of uh, effort, and the one word that I would actually use is sacrifice. And there's a lot of sacrifice that goes into looking like this, and uh, and 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 they're relentless. They know that okay, ye. क्या चीज अच्छा ये ये पहनना है ओवरऑल ये बीच पे जाना है ये कपड़े पहनने हैं डांस करने के लिए यार लुक एट देम इट इज लाइक दे आर लाइक रॉक दे लाइक आई मीन दे लाइक मे दे स्कल्प्टेड सो एंड दैट इज ओनली फॉर यू सेड इट्स अ लॉट ऑफ एफर्ट दैट गोज इन टू इट एंड बोथ ऑफ देम बोथ ऑफ देम इट्स नॉट अबाउट द साइज बट इट्स अबाउट साइज मैंने कब बोला मैंने फिटनेस बोला है फिटनेस इट्स इट्स द रिवर्स इट्स बिकॉज़ यू ट्रस्ट that he has the right sensibility and that it's going to be presented in the right way is why then actors like us will make the effort or even allow for that conversation to mm. even happen you trust the director you trust his aesthetic sense you trust that it it will be presented in the right way mm. i i want to interject one more thing for anil sir also one very uh, uh, small thing that <laughs> funny thing that he told me he tells me rather again great amount of sacrifice to look how he looks at his age imagine can you anyone say look, he's 42 are you underlining <laughs> does he look like 42 <laughs> but why are you underlining age age i mean yeah. for, you don't he's look 42 asking them does he <laughs> does he look, look 42? 42 i mean just look at him no. so the thing is the sacrifice 45, again 45. It extends over yeah, here 42 45 45 aisa mat kare brabbar ko itna mat kicho inhone ek cheez inhone ek cheez boli thi कि आई आस्ट हिम अभी रिसेंटली सर न्यू ईयर पे क्या प्लान है क्या कहाँ जा रहे हो तो ही सेज यार न्यू ईयर के लिए मैं इज मंत्रा इज दैट ही जस्ट लीव द सिटी ही सिंग सिटी में रहूंगा तो मुझे पार्टीज में जाना पड़ेगा खाना पड़ेगा पीना पड़ेगा ही गोज इन टू अल्थ फार्म 
for New Year's. <laughs> he goes into a health resort. He does yoga there. No, no. <laughs> he wakes up at six o'clock. No, no. You see, every decade, your uh, you know the holidays change. You see, when you are this, when you my age, obviously the holidays <laughs> will go to uh, medical and physical. You go to bed, you know, all the pain is gone. So, this is the sacrifice to look like how they how they do. Yeah, it's not easy. अरे लोटस थ्री बन रही है तो बैंगलोर तो बनाना ही पड़ेगा भी यार तो अपने मुझे खबर दी है भी यार समझाओ कोई इसको लोटस थ्री बन रही है यार बैंगलोर तो लोटस थ्री नहीं है बट यू आर नॉट यू आर नॉट स्टार्टिंग योर नेक्स्ट मूवी टिल यू कैच अप ऑन ऑल द शोज लोटस टू वेर इज नेवर माइंड लो Ooh. What? So I take your reaction to that, but so that also because you work with uh, Shahrukh and Deepika and Pathan. Uh, tell me, what did you think of the difference of chemistry between them, and who has better chemistry according to you? You have to see the film, and you have to judge, and you have to tell us. Really. But I think what you have to say about the difference of chemistry. Well, I have said this repeatedly, and I'll say it again because I will not tire. I think the chemistry works uh, when uh, two actors are coming in as as actors and and bringing realism to the dialogues because sometimes the dialogues can sound like dialogues, you know. But when I work with her, her interpretation and her expression of each dialogue is so real that it pushes me to be even more real. So I have been constantly bouncing off of her uh, in uh, the scenes between Patty and. Many, and I think that is what is going to create the chemistry that I hope that you uh, discover. And then I wanted to ask you, pardon my language, but uh, every action scene, that, action role that you've done, you've kicked asses. Uh, but as a woman, I mean, it's hard to ignore that there's always a male star with you when you're doing an action film. Uh, we Pathan fight or the next one, uh, Singham Three, and of course. Star Lotus Three. Does it get frustrating for you to see that? And I'm hopeful of the time where maybe you would be just headlining a film altogether, just you. Yeah, sure. Wait for Shakti Shetty, I guess. Uh, Singham's <laughs> the title role in. It's on its way. But it still has Ajay. Sorry? It, it would still have Ajay. I'll just check with Rohit sir. <laughs> <laughs> get back to you. <laughs> But sorry, I just want to complete my thought. Um, you never, anyway, do anything alone. You know, you're always so. I just feel like this whole male-female conversation. I don't think women can succeed without men, and I don't think men can succeed without women. So it's not. I think we need to rephrase the definition <coughs> of feminism. Correct. Mm. जी जी I think I would call it more nationalistic than jingoistic. This film, and uh, obviously there are certain things that are being viewed out of context, and at, I'm, I'm at, at the cost of being repetitive, I would say that watch the film and you'll understand it. And uh, jingoism is something that I mean is uh, is uh, 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 is somewhere a matter of perspective. Um, I call it nationalistic. Um, 
these lines actually when you see it in the context of the film is being told to a terrorist that don't keep pushing us um, without revealing much is um, like I'd say I, I think you just watch the film this can uh, unnecessarily spur a lot more controversy which I don't think this film's uh, uh, goal is this film is a is a happy happy Indian film it is a Bharati picture hai, and I would not want it to get any other kind of attention other than the fact that it's a, it's a patriotic film so watch it with that context this was the prized interview of Fighter Squadron starring Hrithik Roshan, Deepika Padukone, Anil Kapoor and director Siddharth Anand held at YRF Studios. Okay, then my next question is for Anand sir. Ji. Sir, congratulations for the stupendous year that you had. Sorry? The, the stupendous year that you had in 2023 and I wanted to ask you when you get these kind of mag I mean, you know, magnificent <coughs> I think Deepika said, I think I just love the answer which she gave and that's what I always believe in that how do you use that to do better films and some films which you believe in or good films, good stories, it makes it much easier and that's what even Sid has done with, I feel he's, uh, uh, it was a big, you know, uh, yeah, that he had these successes so he could make Fighter the way he wanted it. Otherwise, uh, it would be very difficult for any other filmmaker to make this film because it's real, it's authentic, it's nationalistic and something which Indian audiences have never seen. So what happens for that is that when you get success in a filmmaker, a filmmaker, a filmmaker, then how you use it, not only professionally, but in terms of many other ways, you know, where to a certain extent, if I can speak about, I would love to share my, you know, how I'm, you know, I'm what I am for so, you know, so many years. How do I look the way I look? What is my fitness? Uh, Deepika has been, uh, you know, talking about mental illness, you know, and it's, and, uh, you know, I think it has reached out to many, many people who, uh, who would be so shy to speak about it. And uh, she's gone all out to speak about it. So you need, <clears throat> so that's what it is. There are so many of the actors who do that, you know, and how do you use that stardom? And that's what we do for films, for stories, for personally, uh, nationally and uh, like I had the opportunity of traveling all over the world and uh, uh, when I was doing all these films and uh, they were successful films and uh, I met all the filmmakers, directors, executives, studio heads. The only thing I spoke about was about India and how talent, how so, there's so much of talent. I discussed all the filmmakers, all the actors. I said, you guys are good. I am a good actor. There are thousands of actors better than me in India and that's what you do. So when you get that opportunity, get that platform, you go and speak. You know, about actors, about filmmakers, about, about so many other things. I think, come and visit Rajasthan. Look at our country. Yeah. So we just do that. We get that opportunity. People take us seriously. You know, so that's what we do. You know, and uh, that's what you do. And people, when we speak, थोड़ा सा seriously लेते हैं अंदर नहीं सुनते हैं सुनते हैं हाँ या so I think that's what we do yeah yeah I'm from Bollywood Hangama first of all I think I'd like to also say this on behalf of everyone we're having an entertaining conference here like the conversations are so good and so exciting how sweet thank you glad that you're part of the round two round three का क्या होगा last day you're actually the best warm up हो गया ये पीक है नेक्स्ट वांस गोइंग गोइंग डाउन अगेन जनवरी में कहोना प्यार है आई सो 24 इयर्स अ 16 इयर्स ऑफ योर करियर आज भी 45 इयर्स बी बी यार नॉट यू यू सेड कहोना प्यार है यू नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट एनीबडी एज यू सेड 45 इयर्स कहोना प्यार है आई 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 सेड 45 
question is that aaj bhi before a scene what is the one thing that you are constantly fighting within yourself when you are giving that shot is there something that still is a fear in your heart when you are giving a shot You ask me. Yeah. <coughs> no, no, of course, yeah, 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 absolutely, yeah. I think uh, it, the the scene has to challenge you, the role has to challenge you, the lines have to challenge you, and the more you feel uh, anxious, and the more you work hard and harder and harder, and that's what you you know. And I think a true person who wants to do his best uh, can never, never, he will never find that person. You can be confident, but never over confident. But always trying to raise the bar, you know. That's what we uh, we are, and that's what we try to do. And uh, because we love what we do, so uh, you know, and we are you know enjoy it, have fun with it, and um, so every day on the set or every day prepping for it is is the best years of, of your life, you know. And matter of fact, I think उससे बेटर क्या हो सकता है? That you are in a profession which you are you know you, that you love and. Uh, in that profession you get so much of love uh, you know you get to travel you get to meet such beautiful people interact with them and um, and um, i am what i am you know given a good life and um, and i'm sure you can ask my children my family and my <laughs> friends so i try to you know use that isse better kya ho sakta hai you know and uh, huh? am i right absolutely okay yeah, to uh, to add to that uh, So I'll just add to that. Uh, <coughs> I think uh, hmm. the first effort really is 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 to how to uh, interpret the lines that are in front of you, and uh, to find out how you would say those lines. You know, to you. So you go. You have to bring your humanness, uh, your experiences. uh and and kind of like uh, merge find that merge where those lines can become you so that's i think the first effort that we all go through uh secondly you know you always have a vision of how you want that character to look you know where he's starting you know where he's going so it's really important where that scene is going to come so that you can uh you know see where in that scene you can enhance the qualities and the characteristics of the character because you're still painting it's in the process of being painted by the end of the film you finally see what that character was finally about so this is the 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 time you get to keep uh, keep adding keep adding keep adding keep uh, finding uh, moments within the scene where you can do something to enhance a quality about that character which is not in the scene but as an actor it's your job to kind of like keep inserting moments and uh, gestures and some nuances that will make you understand what that person is about behind the lines so all of that is actually very uh, it's i i'm very afraid when i'm 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 reading a scene because that's the that's uh, something that is unpredictable it is it is something you're always searching for and that search never stops not until the director says cut and he's got that shot us shot ki kahani khatam ab next shot <laughs> so it just goes on and on and on and that's the life that's just the life and the always fear hai ki siddharth ko acha lagega ki nahi wo bhi to dar hota hai dar Well, first of all, uh, I don't uh, uh, attach any value in uh, the shape of your nose or your eyes or your chin. There is absolutely for an actor, there is absolutely uh, there's there's no value in that. I think what is attractive is a mix and the journey of your expressions. You know, when you're expressing something from a, with a, any face, it may be any face in the world. 
But if it's expressing and taking you through a journey through those, those expressions, that what is, is what becomes attractive. So it is really not about the position of your eyes and nose. And if we started believing that, oh my God, art would not exist. So I, I really, really think that actors should uh, be very, very confident in, uh, in that belief that I will look as attractive as anybody else if I'm expressing correctly, if I'm expressing my soul, if it's coming out there, if I am getting into the depths of this character and taking them through the mystery of what is going on in my mind, that is when they will be engaged and that is when you will look attractive. So I really feel it's about that.